Today we are going to introduce to you a new technology by ASRock, and it's called XFast RAM. The X79 motherboard supports quad channel memory. And today what we have in here is eight 4 gigabyte DDR3s, which sum up to 32 gigabytes of memory. But due to 32 bit OS limitations, only 4 gigabytes of memory is used. So that's where XFast RAM comes in. With XFast RAM, we can fully utilize the wasted memory. This is the new XFast RAM's interface, which is bundled into ASRock's AXTU. The, what we should do here first is choose a directory name for setting up our virtual disk. And right here, I'm going to choose X. On the right over here, we can insert the number of space we want to use for the virtual disk. But uh, since we're using a 32-bit OS system right now, so it doesn't really matter. Because as mentioned before, we've, uh, we've inserted 32 gigabytes of memory into our X79 motherboard. However, only 4 gigabytes is being used. And XFast RAM will fully utilize the 28 gigabytes, which is wasted memory. And next thing to configure is to activate or deactivate what temporary files or cache files we want to apply for XFast RAM. For example, if we turn on the switches for uh, IE catch files and Firefox catch files, then these files will be stored in our drive X, which is our virtual disk. Then our web browsing performance will be improved. Page loading and web surfing will be a lot faster. Or if we turn on the WinRAR temporary files, then it will boost the speed of unzipping and zipping files. And when you're done with uh, twitching with the files, you just simply click on Apply and then click on Start. See? And then so you have your virtual disk X. The last thing we should do is do what as the yellow words say. We have to restart our computer before it takes effect. And now after we've got things all set up, I'm going to show you how XFast RAM makes executing applications faster, especially enormous applications such as Photoshop. Now that we've got XFast RAM set up on our system, we also have two PSD files that are a total of about one gigabytes. So now let's try to start how fast it takes to load them up. Wow, it took only about 17 seconds. Okay, now let's try again, but this time we are going to turn off XFast RAM and see how long it takes. As you can see, now we've turned off XFast RAM, so the volume X is missing. And we still have the two files that are total one gigabytes large and we're going to open up them again to see how fast they load without XFast RAM. It took about two minutes to load the two files without XFast RAM loaded. So we can see that with XFast RAM, Photoshop's speed and performance is boosted about five or six times faster. These are the four main features of XFast RAM. And the last feature I want to show you guys is how XFast RAM also prolongs your hard disk drive or solid state drive's lifespan. 
Since most of the temporary files and cache files are run from the virtual drive, it reduces the frequency of assessing your hard disk drives and solid state drives. Therefore, it extends their lifespan. Thank you for listening to XFast RAM today. Hope you'll have a good day ahead of you. Bye-bye.